YouTube. It's your boy, Out A. Ali, Ali, Ali. Owls. We back with another video, you feel me? I've been slacking on my Demon Cam reacts. My fault, you feel me? But I'm gonna get back on top of them. Let me know if y'all want me to do a few of the others he just dropped, you feel me? But, um, yeah, let me know. But for today's reaction, we got two two Gs arrested and charged with attempted murder. Sheesh, I wonder what this is about. No bullshit. Come on, Tutu. Don't be doing no bacon shit out here. What's getting y'all? We back with another video, and I ain't gonna lie. Y'all remember when Fabio said being a rapper was the hardest job in the world? I think being a New York driver right now is the hardest. You gotta look up. Can't even cap. It might be. Because the way they're taking y'all right now is crazy. They're indicting y'all like nuts. Y'all got to chill with all that self-censorship, though. It was the hardest job in the world. I think being a New York right now is the hardest. You got to look over one shoulder for the ops. You got to look over the other shoulder for the boys. If you don't know, Tutu G's a Brooklyn Joe pioneer. Mm -hmm. One of the guys that first started Brooklyn Zero and New York in general. Tutu G's was picked up. He was arrested at JFK Airport for attempted murder charges. I ain't gonna lie, there's, there's a little confusion between articles. There was one where saying it was one person that got hit. They're, they're alleging that Tutu hit one person. They're, then there's other articles where they're alleging three people got hit. I don't know what to believe, but hey, we're just gonna go for the one with three. New York Daily News is the article I'm reading. <laughs> nigga says, fuck it. We don't know what happened. We don't know what to believe, but fuck it. We're about to give this nigga bigger than niggas. Let's just make him seem like a savage. Nigga. Fuck it. I don't know what to believe, but hey, we're just going to go for the one with three. New York Daily News is the article I'm reading. Brooklyn Drill Rapper 22G is arrested at JFK Airport for attempted murder charges. Brooklyn Drill Rapper 22G was arrested at Kennedy Airport on attempted murder charges tied to a march shooting that left three people wounded. Prosecutor said Tuesday, the 23 year old. Oh, March was cut to the airport while on his way to farm at the NYC summer gym. <coughs> oh, shit. Now, that's only like three months I've ago. I've seen, like, the Dougie B, B-Love, and Cardi B performance. Everybody had big phones up recording everything. And I ain't seen Tutu. I just assumed that maybe people just wasn't a fan of Tutu and it wasn't recorded. So it just didn't go out there. But I expect, like, summer gym to record or someone to record it. And I ain't seen him performing at all. So I just assumed, like, he performed and no one really cared or something. And then he's being accused of opening fire on March 6th at about 3.30 a.m. outside Club Freeze Cafe and Lounge on Flatbush Avenue in Marine Park and hitting three people. A 21-year-old was struck in the leg. A 31-year-old man was hit in the foot. And a 29-year-old was shot in both legs. All three victims identified the gunman as two two Gs, according to police. And if they're really, like, saying... I thought Damn. So if, they, if those ain't civilians, y'all niggas is rats. You feel me? Cause you can't, I don't know. You could call us a little rap, but I guess, but like, they're not, they didn't sign up for the street shit. But if you sign up for the street shit and y'all here right, you're right. By the gunman as two two Gs, according to police. And if they're really like saying, if all three suspects are pointing him out, he got a pretty well known haircut with the beads in his hair and, and things like that. So it's crazy that he's in. But there's mad cameras in New York, so you better hope he's not on camera. Cause if he's on camera, that's really gonna be an open shot case. Dead ass. Well known haircut with the beads in his hair and, and things like that. So it's crazy that he's being pointed out. And then we got quotations saying this shooting not only wounded the victim but endangered the lives of everyone in a crowded lounge. Since this gang rivalry Damn. fuel much of the gun violence in our communities and our main committed to vigorously prosecuting anyone who engages <laughs> in this criminal conduct the Brooklyn. In New York, they're not playing with that gang shit at all. Especially if you're a rapper and you got a name and you got this like you got influence. <laughs> Man, chill out. They're not playing with that shit. They about to send your ass up the way and give you a fucking football nerd. A football nerd. Like, 55 years. <laughs> There's no drugs. But I rap. Nigga, you about to be performing in jail. You better chill. Man, it's a vigorously prosecuted. Hey, but I mean... Y'all are just street niggas who can rap, you feel me? So I don't blame y'all. Y'all just doing what y'all did before y'all made it. But it's like, once you separate yourself, you don't need to come put yourself back in the limelight. Dip from that. Keep yourself out of it since you already left, you feel me? Stay out of it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing better. Ain't nothing good out here. Ain't nothing good in the hood. 
You know what's in the hood. You was in the hood your whole life. Go stay in them hills. You feel me? Including anyone who engages in this criminal conduct, the Brooklyn DA said. And then the rest of the article is basically them trying to say that Susu, oh, they're trying to bring up his lyrics, trying to point him as a violent gang member or things of that nature. Yeah, I need to stop pointing, bringing up, trying to bring up lyrics. Trying to use lyrics against rappers is fucking. Like, that shit's. That's just whack as hell, no bullshit. Y'all gotta. That's just just corny. Lyrics trying to Mad point corny. him as a violent gang member or things of that nature. Um, but we're gonna skip past that because that's irrelevant right now. In a seven count indictment handed down Monday by a grand jury, 22 G's is charged with attempted murder, criminal possession of a weapon, reckless endangerment, and assault for the March shooting. He was set to be released from Rikers Island on $500,000 bond Tuesday and will be returning to a home in. Georgia, according to his attorney. Oh, right, he's smooth. Nigga said he got out on bond already. He was set to be released from Rikers on the 500K bond Tuesday and won't be retired. So he's probably going to do like the weekend. The rest of this weekend, get out. So he'll, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Got a bond Tuesday and will be returning to a home in Georgia, according to his attorney. I look forward to evaluating the evidence and to our day in court, said Tusa Jesus lawyer Woo! or his attorney we gonna look at his charges i'm seeing three assault with intent to cause physical injury with a weapon two loaded firearm charges one reckless endangerment charge and one attempted murder charges and y'all see in the article and those multiple other articles that saying three people got hit two sides in the club because i heard it came from an altercation in the club, those gunshots, I don't know, the legend, one person was hit by two, two, and then two other people were hit by someone else, I really don't know, because if they really wanted to get, get him wrapped up, if three people got hit in that situation, he would go down for all three, so I don't know what Fair, they're trying to definitely. insinuate, or what they're trying to say, but I, I, again, I, I've seen people say those three people get that guy hit, so if three people got hit, he would get hit with three attempted murder charges, which I'm not seeing no more than one, so... I don't know what's going on with that, and it sucks, man, because Tutu is one of them guys that really just stayed out the way, stayed out of New York in general, would, would only come back facts. and shoot music videos, it seems That's like, facts. and then he'll go right back to Atlanta and just stay out the way and just do his own thing, man. I applauded him for that because I'm looking at all the other New York drill artists, I'm like, dang, it looks super hard to get out of New York because they just seem like they just want to stay in New York and continue to just win with everybody around them, but at some point, you got to take matters in your own hands and really leave New York and get out the way and just stay out the way. And I felt like Tutu did a good job at that, but it seems like he's still getting wrapped up. I'm glad he's able to make bail and bond out and do what he had to do and return back to Georgia. I don't know if this is true, but it seems crazy. Now, nah, if, that's true, that, if that's true, that definitely does show something because, one, the bail wasn't even that high. 500K is not that high, especially for, like, the crimes he did at Anderson, New York. And then, like, two... They gave him bail and let him go back to Georgia. Like, so that means, like, they're not looking at him as a flight risk, flight risk and some more shit, you feel me? So, he, he might be looking smooth. Point out, too, too, he got a very distinct haircut. I don't know what he was doing or what his intentions were. I'm just hoping none of these none of this stuff was true because open a fire in a nightclub or in a club in general with a lot of people in the public is just not what we're doing, bro, especially when you're a big-time rapper. But again, I gotta make this clear. It's all allegations. I don't know what's true. I don't know what's true. I really don't know a lot. Me. I'm just seeing the articles, and again, it's super confusing. I'm seeing three people got hit. He's charged with one attempt, but three people got hit in the club. I, I don't know. It's very confusing. And they're pointing fingers. They're saying it's Tutu. Tutu definitely has distinctive hair. And yeah, man, I don't know what's going on. But y'all know what y'all think about the situation. I'm gonna get up through a fish drop for rock with me. Keep doing y'all. Keep doing me. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Good. You too, my boy. Be safe. <laughs> Another great fucking banger by Demon Cam. Yo, shout out Demon Cam. He's doing his fucking thing. You feel me? But, um, yeah, I already gave y'all what I had to say. Like, that's why I was like, you know, funny shit. If you're going to leave, leave. Stay out of the limelight. You feel me? Don't be coming back. Yo, so props to him for not really coming back like that. But, like, when you do come back, you can't be wrapping yourself up in stupid shit like that. You feel me, bro? You got to do what you got to do and just uh, be out, you feel me? But, like, yeah, shout out to Tutu for doing his thing. He's doing his thing, definitely, you feel me? But, um, yeah, let me know down below in the comments what y'all think. Y'all think he's going to be good? Y'all think he's going to beat this? Or what? I think he might be smooth, especially the way it's looking. They gave him bail. They let him travel back to his 
home state, well, his state he live in now. So that's like, that's kind of crazy, you feel me? They're not looking at him as a flight risk, so it's like, and they, his bond wasn't really that much money, so it's like, yeah, I am I feel like he it's looking good for him, you feel me? And if it does come down harsh, it's not going to come down too harsh, but let me know what y'all think in my comments, you feel me? But don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, you better subscribe. And you better ring that bell now. Or ring that bell. That bell. Or ring that ring, ring. But it's your boy, Ellie. Ellie, 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 Ellie. 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 Ellie.